Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the New Orleans Privateers and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to rock play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Cowboys should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Beware of turnovers. Protect You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you get in the action. Secondly, it's imperative. try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. They go into the low block. Defense giving some room. Down inside. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. That's foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Cowboys will step to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. Rims out. He cleans the glass. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He goes with a baby hook. Doesn't go. Looking for contact. Here's the replay. He's still applying great pressure on the dribble. That was nice. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Evans handles the feed. He up fakes. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Gave it up. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. There's a double team waiting there. Off the rim and no good. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The skip pass is picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Now trying to feed the low block. Gave it up. The center receives the pass. There's the trap. He launches the bomb. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He drains the bucket. The 
defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. They scored 10 in a row. so important get 15 to 17 feet apart patience with the ball as the offense regroups stolen away change in possession the defense knocked it loose then went and got it in the paint but went elsewhere oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's piling the ball with a deck where's he going our three prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline Turnover City and I'll always really negate any offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to watch right there. Yeah, that helps. That's worth another look. Teams are looking to get something going here. Dumping inside. Evan receives the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. to three. He gets it to fall. That's a high post screen. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. Screener got hammered trying to set that pick. They work it around the perimeter. Evan handles the pass. They move it into the front court. They work it back to the outside. And the ball goes out of play. team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vitale but not looking that good I'll tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby on the outside Ooh, look at the shot block we got some contact nice hops that's a foul Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team they are really involved I'll tell you one thing they bring a lot of spirit he's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to deny him the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off
there's a bad pass right to the defender. He can't get any more open than that. Oklahoma State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Gave it up. Holland pump fakes. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Definitely a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Holland was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. He shoots from the top of the key, looking for a screen on top and got it. It sticks. That's a 10-zip run. out on the floor. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. We're going to move it around the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. the perimeter and up great play to take that to the basket fakes the jumper pushing that basketball help one another communicate here they go into the break. Leans in. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket. Oh, yes. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Both teams looking to get things going here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. Boy, terrible execution on offense.
Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For two, he buries it. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. It's crazy in here, Brad. Tries for two. I'll tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He intercepts it. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Got it in the low block. Jumps in. He gets the bucket to fall. Up fake. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. Married it. Check this one out. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal it off. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires it up. Tickles the twine. Right now, got to focus defensively. Takes it off him. Working it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. From three-point land, way off target. He hacked him. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He can't get one to fall. Gave it up. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. 
They strip him a little basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Drains the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Set that screen away. Push that basketball. Goes up for two. The lane. Momentary look from three-point land. Looks at the three. Gets it to fall. He gets the rejection. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. The center in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you what, thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. his third. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. Controlling the ball. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumps into the defender. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. If you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Reese is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Great shot. The Cowboys throw a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. With a bucket, perfectly executed. On the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. He makes a nice shot fake. Shoots from outside. Way off target. Goes up for two. Rips down the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Picked out of the air. 
Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. They've left him completely alone. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Makes the block. The ball goes out of play. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Tries for two. Intercepted. On the dribble. Gives it up. For the bucket. He makes the shot. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. At the end of the first half, the Privateers lead by six. Oklahoma State has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of times, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. Number one is being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. In the paint. Goes up for two. Collins was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. And he'll kick it back outside. Foul charge. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. That's good. Working it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From way outside. You betcha. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Off the rim and no good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They work it around the perimeter. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Pump fakes. With the shot, he bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. A 
Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. We'll take the shot. He nails the shot. Off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. And he'll kick it back outside. Takes away the pass. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. With that, there will be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Look at that spacing. Sets the screen for his teammate. He shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. There's a high screen. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Get that good spacing. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think he rejects it. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot rejected. Moving it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. Way out. He blocks the shot. Got a guy right up on him. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from long range. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Kicks off the lazy pass. They're working around the arc. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Shoots. Nice shot. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. They're working around the perimeter. 
the Cowboys have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Here's the three ball. Working it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. Gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that. Locks the shot. Here they go into transition. Gave it up. Tries for two. Got it. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up, unloads. New Orleans is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted but so is his coach. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. He intercepts it. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He buries the shot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. He intercepts it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. From the top of the key. Way off target. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, day. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. From beyond the arc, he drains the shot. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back with a great block. The lay -in. This one might go down to the final buzzer. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that can become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the fake. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The dribble gives it up. He launches the bomb. Scorches the net. Great defense. Gave it up. Howard handles the feed. He shoots from the top of the key. Goes out of bounds. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. They work the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Ten seconds to put it up. New Orleans have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. There's the pick. Jumped in front to take it away. Dumps it in. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, 
try to come up with a steal, and they do. They push it up on the break. He makes the shot. Bring it up. There's the screen up on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He throws it up from downtown. Nice shot. There it is again. Hey, Brown, to stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. He shoots from long range. He hits the shot. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. The fans are definitely making a difference here, Dick. This is what I call home court advantage. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steals the pass. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Picked off. Tries for two. Oklahoma State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The point guard receives the pass. Up and inside. Obvious foul. The Vic, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing, they're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I'll tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Up and inside. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. That one goes back from whence it came. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket. Up for the lay in. Oh, man, great boy handling skill. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the tray. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The shooting guard gets the pass. He attempts the trifecta. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. I think 
after trying to make a state. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Shot clock is dead. Takes away the pass. They get it out into transition. For the deuce, the layup is good. floor pushes it up They're working around the perimeter picks off the pass on the outside Vanelli receives the ball Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. Going to overtime in a game that wasn't even supposed to be close in regulation. This one shocked me, Richard. I tell you what, it's been so exciting. I hope it never ends. I hope we have double, triple overtime. I tell you, these kids have played with such fire. Just goes to show you, press clippings can only take you so far. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. And he missed Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. He posterized him. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. The kick out. Here's a double team. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He intercepts it. Shepard handles the pass. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. New Orleans have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Look at that spacing. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. 
It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He puts it up. He gets the bucket to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Strips the ball. The shooting guard gets the ball. It's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He'll visit the charity strike. Got it! Timeout's called on the court. back to the action nine points is the difference now a difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful Brad fires away gets it to fall let's slow it down on the replay Puts up the tray. He nails the bucket. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Sinks the shot. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it, of clock management here? Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. got a much needed breather with that timeout. The power forward with the ball. And now the fadeaway jumper. They got a foul quickly here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Gets them both to fall. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. Picks off the lazy pass. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you've got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Gets the first shot. Second one, good. Shot clock is dead. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. He gets it to fall. And yet another foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Second 
second shot, good. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. From three-point range, he buries it. Pushes it. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Hits the second shot. A bucket here is crucial. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Let's get ready to resume the action. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Rims out. Howard rips the offensive board. Shot. And yet another foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, that will stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. timeout I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides one would assume so with the big shot he doesn't get the hook you know upsets like this don't grow on trees we see it once in a while but this one still got me a little baffled I think the coach staff's got to get them back in the practice environment and get them to be intense I didn't like the way they were acting at the shoot around I thought they were too cocky then and it reflected in the way they played they were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform Oklahoma State couldn't seem to rack up enough points in OT tonight for the win. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.